Good afternoon, my fellow YouTubers. <laughs> All right, so hopefully everybody, I, I hope that whoever may be watching this video, I hope you, yes, you sitting right there in your chair or on your couch or um, at your desk, whatever, whoever this video reaches, I want to tell you this. This goes directly to you. I hope you have a good day, okay? An awesome day. Or tomorrow. I hope tomorrow is a good day. Okay? I want you to know that. Your day is going to be great. Just remember that. And smile. You can never smile too much. Nobody will say, hey, don't smile because you look stupid. No. And if they do say that, you know, some instant rare, I mean, some random rare case where that happens, you just look at them and you smile back. You say, because that's just the way it should be. We don't smile enough. I know that. So, yeah. I got home really late last night. I didn't get up till like 12 and it's like, it's three now, so <laughs> I've been up three hours. But I went to the grocery store and then I came back and then it's the first of the month. Most of my bills are available online as of yesterday, so I have to go pay all those. Ugh, indigestion, which I hate paying by the way. Bills suck. <laughs> I'm, I'm the type of person, I don't know about you, but I don't watch a lot of TV and I haven't been into a television show in like 10 years, so <laughs> I don't really get into shows that good. Not because I don't like them, I just don't, I don't ever take the time to sit down and actually pay attention and follow the plot and stuff. Well, the best show right now, which is my favorite, which it's a little bit, you know, of a racier show. I don't know what kind of audience you are or what you like, but it's a little bit of a edgier, racier show, but it's Californication. Holy crap. That's a really good show. Like, it's really entertaining. It's, like, well-written. I just really like the show. Um, and it, that's saying a lot, because I don't really get into shows that much. And I'm a pretty big David Duchovny fan now. He's pretty... He's got a... This character he plays is pretty funny. Like, it's just hilarious. And the entire show is good. Um... It's got, which is kind of weird, but it's got the girl from The Nanny, the littlest, uh, the littlest girl from The Nanny, the Fran Drescher show from the 90s. She's in it, but she's more of an adult. <laughs> she plays a 16-year-old, but if you were to watch the show, you would see she plays more adult material now. Um, and she's got the other lady. I'll have to IMDB her, the main lady, the leading lady, which is David Duchovny's ex. She's in it, but I can't, I think, I want to say her name is Madeline, but I'm not positive. But anyway, like, she's flat out drop-dead gorgeous, like, all, the most all-time gorgeous lady. But she's been in a, quite a few things. She looks kind of like Meryl Streep, in a way, maybe a younger Meryl Streep. Um, and the daughter in the show as well, the daughter in the show is really good. She's really cute and, and precocious in her own way, but she's also on the cusp of adolescence, so... She's a really, all the actors are really good on the show, and they have a lot of really funny guest spots because David Duchovny is a womanizer. Well, he's not really a womanizer. He, according to him, loves women. So he, uh, he's got a lot of guest spot lady friends, and they're always really good. And it's just a really good show. Like, I like it a lot. So that's my recommendation to you. Um, watch it. Watch it, yeah. My other recommendation to you, which is also a very good show that's on the same level, I just watched that last week, is Weeds. Weeds is really, Weeds is just funny to me. It's just really good. Like, Weeds is just so bizarre, like, the things that are happen, happening. And um, I think it's get, become really, or I'm, I'm pretty sure it's been popular since its third season. It's been popular for a while, but I know a lot of people have been talking about it recently because um, the Olsen twin is on there. I think it's Mary Kate Olsen is the one that's on it. And she does a really good job. She plays like a, a God-loving um, weed smoker, which is <laughs> funny to me. It's just funny. The show's entertaining. Um, so, yeah, if you get a chance, if you have showtime or, you know, you want to get weeds on DVD, you can get maybe the old seasons on DVD or something, check them out because I recommend it. They're really good. Um, that's my personal recommendation to you. My other personal recommendation to you is this right here these Tostitos Hint of Lime these things are amazing they're so good they're kind of big but you know Tostitos are 
Look, look how much chip you get for this, you know? Look at all the chip that you get, all right? In a regular Dorito, you get like, like maybe like this part right here. You know, you get half this, but you know, this, and if you look, you see the little hint of lime, do you see it? It's like little speckles of lime, it's really good. It's really good. I recommend it. Sorry for talking with a mouthful. That's rude, but hold on, let me just finish this. My water's up here. I'll be right back. Oh, that was good. It's good chip, man. Check them out, though. Go to the grocery store. Get them. Tostitos Hint of Lime. I'm sure most people have already discovered them. For me, it was a new discovery. If you haven't discovered them or tried them, seriously, check it out. I would not lie to you. I, I make this from the bottom of my heart, this recommendation. Ah, it's good water. Arrowhead. You know... I once had a guy tell me this uh, one time. He said, he said, every beautiful girl always has a bottle of Arrowhead water with her. I don't know if that's true. That doesn't come from me. That's what he said. But maybe it's true. Who knows? I don't know. Anyway, this got way too long. Those are my recommendations to you. I hope you check them out. And I hope they're awesome.